in health reforms, aging and disabled. There's nothing this guy can't do. Please welcome social justice icon, Archie Archuleta. Hey, I'm stopping while I'm ahead. <laughs> Muy buenas tardes a todos y bienvenidos a nuestra reunión. Hey, right now, tonight, today, we aren't very big in numbers, but we're what we call in Spanish picosos, really like a hot chili pepper, hot. And we join the thousands all over this country who are today protesting the whole question, question of terrorism. We're here because we are opposed to torture. Look at the signs. Stop it in the name of humanity. As Chicanos, as Mexicanos and Latinos, we know our people have experienced torture. We experienced it under Diaz's dictatorship of Mexico. We experienced it with Pinochet in Chile and the Contras and the death squads in Guatemala, Nicaragua, and El Salvador, and in Franco Spain. Torture anywhere at any time is something that denigrates humanity. Yeah. It not, not only denigrates those who are tortured, but those who torture and those who silently listen to it. Or expect it. But there is some hope. You here today, the thousands in other cities in this country, give us hope. And on the Thursday the 18th, the ACLU sent the following message. On Friday, the Justice Department asked the Ninth District Court of Appeals to rehear its argument to throw out our extraordinary rendition lawsuit on the basis that it cannot be tried without revealing, guess what? State secrets, wow. Now, you can, in, in hopefulness, support the, uh, and ask congressional delegates to sponsor the State Secrets Protection Act. That's one way. Now, going back to secrets, state secrets, wow. What the hell is so secret about Abu Ghraib, huh? What? was so secret about the secret prisons. What was so secret about warrantless wiretaps? And what is so secret about torture itself? Hey, we've seen all the pictures and on TV. We already know what it is. So, what is so secret about Guantanamo? My God, we know what it is. Do we know the individuals most responsible? I think so. Do we know what administration ordered these secret atrocities? Yeah. We've seen most of these secrets exposed in print and on TV. What is secret are the cover-ups and the ploy to find scapegoats. So, now they claim state secrets. And they imply that state secrets is patriotic. We did what we did to protect American lives. Well, you know what Samuel Johnson said about that. Patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel. And even George Washington, in his farewell address, said, guard against the impostures of pretended patriotism. Our being here today sends a message to the past and to the present administrations. 
that we will speak truth and we expect, nay, we demand it and transparency from all of our leaders. We say, uncover the cover-ups. Show us the greased palms. Where did all that money go? Close Guantanamo. Come on, close Guantanamo. Punish, punish the guilty. And in so doing, we protect our Bill of Rights. Protect it. In conclusion, in the words of Bob Barbara Ehrenreich, no matter that patriotism is too often the refuge of the scoundrels, dissent, rebellion, and all around hell rousing remain the true duty of patriots. Fellow patriots, thanks.